Yo, 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 what is happening? What is happening? Hope everyone's having a great evening here. It's Monday and we got some big things to talk about here tonight. We are here for the April State of Address in regards to the United Sim Football Association. Thank you for spending a little time with us here as we go over a lot of big things happening towards the league. You already know what is going out with the next one. What is Hertz saying to me? Fix your mic. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I accidentally turned it up. I was checking out some other settings, but it should be all good to go now. And uh, I got the homie Caboose again in the booth. Show some love to your people. How's it going, folks? It's I'm here. I don't know what else you want me to say. <laughs> He's definitely here. But yeah, we, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. I'm going to check a few second uh, settings within this game that I'm working on this side. So you got something to look at. But uh, Kabushi could go ahead and uh, kick this one off. <laughs> All right, so starting things off here, um, we are go I'm going to quickly reiterate that starting May 1st, we are beginning our subscription uh, part, part of the league. So on May 1st, anyone and everyone who would like to continue upgrading their player will need to uh, get a $5 a month subscription or a $17 per season subscription. It's a little cheaper. Uh, seasons, they are four months long, roughly. So, um, <laughs> the that that's coming up May 1st, so just be ready for that. Um, you're more than welcome to get it a little early if you would like to, if you just, you know, want to not think about it but you're not paying for anything right now you don't need to pay for anything right now um we'll probably do one last week uh that first week of may where uh yeah so that like that first week of may we'll probably still run normal uh normal updating for everyone but after that we will be progressions are only the people who are subscribed um the next order of business uh if memory serves me correctly is player represent re player representatives i put a ping in there earlier today asking for people to uh, apply to that uh, so if you're, you're interested in that please please go in and fill that out so we know you're interested I think we only have a couple of people right now who have applied uh, I can pull that up really quick yeah just a couple people who have applied um, and then also we have somewhere in that long list of uh, prospective ownership form if so if you ever want to own a team uh, you know fill that out and we'll we'll put you on a list of uh, waiting with those two things being said um you know we're moving into this off season and i know the the resign phase has just opened so gms team owners uh should be reaching out to you guys the players uh in regards to continuing them if you want to or getting uh, contracts set up, things like that. If you don't want to, you want to test free agency, don't worry about it. This doesn't apply to you. But for team players that would like to re-sign with their current team and plan on sticking around through the subscription period, um, this is this is the time to get re-signed. So uh, go bug your team owners about that. Uh, next... I think I had a mental list of things I wanted to touch on. Um, and I'm blanking a little bit, Stacks, if you want to fill in. Um, in regards to the league, uh, you already talked about the. What's what I'm looking for? You already talked about uh, taking off for player representatives, team representatives. Um, those are the major things there. There's an ad running right now. We got this. Don't 
we got a little time to think about it. Yeah. Um, the uh, oh, um, the draft is coming up soon. We will need people who are interested in commentary for that. Uh, preferably people who know both the graduating class and the USFA side of things. So if you know both and you're interested in commentary, uh, we're looking for people like you to come help us out with the draft commentary uh, as people get picked up. Um, and after next season, I'll, I'll kind of put this out there early, but after next season, we will be expanding to accommodate the uh, ECFL's next draft class because it's pretty massive. So mm -hmm. if you would like to be an expansion owner, uh, please please fill out that form. Like I said, uh, that, that's what we're pulling from is that prospective ownership form. So, on top of that, we'll still have uh, league ownership available for the teams that currently have two. Um, with help people make yeah. some changes, and you know, me and Caboose, you know, we can always uh, get out of sure, those yeah. get out of those roles so we could do more for the league. Um, yeah. So if you're interested in running a team, feel free to hit us up on that side too. If you don't want to go through the process yeah. of making your own, you already have a few great teams that you could. Uh, build into a championship winning core. Yeah. Or take over a championship winning core. Um, <laughs> but um, I think that's pretty much it from a league standpoint. Um, I think let's, uh, I'm going to start pulling into these questions unless you got something else. Um. Well, league-wise, in regards to uh, like what we're currently doing with the Mad Modding, uh, just been doing incremental stuff. Like since we are at the end of the season portion, I'm going to be doing a real big overhaul uh, with like some of the graphical stuff that you see, like uh, like uh, fields, jerseys, of course. I've made a lot of headway like within the last few weeks or so in regards to changing jersey numbers. So that's a big thing. Um, and that will be able to, so we won't be seeing crazy colors on our jerseys and stuff. We'll be able to have our own brand and stuff, uh, how we're supposed mm -hmm. to and everything. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the main thing there on my side. Just make sure that it looks good. Uh, make sure I'm sound better. Still need some more commentary people. We heard one yesterday with Krim. Shout out to the homie Andre Krim helping me out in the booth and, uh, Parm also getting in the booth last week. He says he's going to be joining up uh, for our next Switch game. I believe that's Sunday. Well, our last Switch game will be Sunday. So we'll be hearing him. So if you're interested in commentary stats, uh, please join the stat team. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, we're a little far behind. Uh, being modest on it, we're pretty far behind. <laughs> So, uh, join, join the updating team. Yeah. Join the stats team, um, please. Yeah. yeah. No. The 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 more people we have doing that, and this is a great way to earn your sub if you don't want to pay five bucks a month, seventeen bucks a season, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, join the stats team. Join the updating team. We need guys there to help out. So, especially with more teams coming into the league soon. What's that? Uh, but that's also the big thing right there. Just uh, plugging away those jobs if you want to help out. You wanted the league to go as smooth as possible. Got to chip in, you know. So, uh, thanks again for all the support. Yep. All right. Well, let's pull into some of these questions here. Uh, so, from Krim, we got two questions, it looks like. Uh, first one, with more teams coming in. Oh, sorry. Three questions. With more teams coming in, stats are going to become harder, a harder job. Love it. Uh, yeah. So, how are we going to maintain stats? Um, for right now, the same way that we've been maintaining stats, uh, <laughs> it's the only way we really have to do it. Um, and for a website, I mean, you're kind of going into your next question, I guess. When do you expect the portal to be active? Um, the portal, when it is ready, will... It will take care of stats to an extent for us. We'll still need people to manually input them, but it'll have a, it'll be a nicer way to display the stats. Mm -hmm. 
in terms of when will it be ready that's an excellent question i don't know um we i just got a developer who might be interested in working on it a little bit here um he needs some time to get familiar with the languages he needs to use to build it um so yeah we'll, we'll see how long it takes for him hopefully this summer they can get a decent amount of it done when i start working i can start paying for more development time um but we'll we'll get there we will get there kind of message um, kind of question in the chat there for that cut you off but. okay no, okay. a, yeah. uh, was there going to be a website update um, what do you I'm not sure what you mean by that I don't know if you just came in and you missed it and it came a little later but um, you did just kind of explain like the process of where it's heading towards still waiting on a few <laughs> things on the back end uh, for the mm -hmm. person that will be making it for us to get familiar with the setup, the system, how it wants to be look like, make sure it looks good for us, and then we'll we'll keep you in tabs since we get more information for sure. But it's definitely coming. Yeah, yeah, and I, I can't give away like too terribly much. Um, like we're working with a software development company to build some stuff out for us, um, so we're. We're in kind of that limbo phase where we need to get a little bit of money first, and then uh, we can also, uh, yeah, we'll work <laughs> we with you. <laughs> use that money to fulfill the uh, require monetary requirements to get this thing built. Mm -hmm. um, but it is being worked on. Um. The next question, yearly sub, um, I haven't really thought about a yearly sub yet. Oh, we where don't, it's next year, like a, like a full three season or something like that? Yeah, like a full a 12 month sub. Yeah. Um, because our, our seasons aren't quite, um, our seasons aren't quite four months. They're a little bit shorter than four uh, four months. Mm -hmm. So, a full season or full. Excuse me. Well, I had a hair go down my throat. It yeah, was boy. not a pleasant experience. Um, the yeah the the. No, I just lost my complete train of thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seasons aren't a full four months long, so it's kind of difficult for us to get a full year out there just because it won't line up with the seasons very well. Um, so we're trying to keep... I'm trying to keep things lined up. It's, it's a possibility, something we could, I guess, consider if there's enough support for it, but... As of right now, I think there's only one individual asking for a full year sub, and that's not enough for us to really mm -hmm. put it out there. Um, you got anything on those? Um, we'll keep on building the support around you guys to make you consider doing that in the future. Um, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Um, that that sounds uh, awesome to me because I would, me personally. Like even if it was just a like a flat rate of what just throw example forty five bucks or something like that or whatever mm -hmm. like I mean I would invest in three seasons where I won't have to worry about points coming in and like if I'm definitely investing in the league I'll make it so um, that's definitely something to consider down the line for sure. Yeah, I don't think we're at a point where the infrastructure is ready for that. So. Maybe after next season or two, we'll revisit that. Mm -hmm. um, Once we have like 24 teams, we're going to have career subs. Like you can pay full career, and you, you pay for your full careers, players' career. Yeah, that'd be expensive, but you know, <laughs> hey, people would do it if they, um, if they love the product. Yeah, for sure they would. Um, 
All right, let's go. Let's get into these questions from Solvent Planet here. Uh, so he says, I saw that team owners get 0.5 of the league's earning or something like that. Is that per team or the, uh, the share? Or, or, what? Or, or they share the 0.5. No, that is per team. So each team gets 0.5 individually. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's no reason for them to... I'm not going to make them share 0.5%. That's tiny. Um, each team will at minimum get 0.5%. And then playoff teams get uh, 1% the following season, and then championship teams would get 1.5% the following season to help kind of uh, disincentivize tanking and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to reward people that are actively putting an effort to make a good team. Cool, cool. Uh, there's a question in the chat here from Turtz I want to answer because that's kind of my thing. Um, are these switch points yeah. ever going to be worth anything? Of course it is. Like We wouldn't want you to sit around just to watch the game. We wouldn't have to get you some stuff. Um, it's actually been worked on the back end. I already have a majority of the ones that we're going to be placing into the league. Um, Twitch channel already set up. I just got to display them. Uh, TP purchases, cosmetic purchases, uh, career purchases like your um, fight against time and your uh, extended carryover type stuff right there um, is available. You're going to be able to purchase some stuff along with traits and everything too for your players. So it, it's going to it's going to be available pretty soon. I actually should already have them up now that I think about it. But um, yeah, you're, you're going to be able to use your Twitch points. So I recommend getting into as many <laughs> which uh videos that you can so you can stack them up and uh take advantage because it's gonna be a fun ride yeah uh okay are we ever gonna have a minor league yeah we are we have one already it's called the ecfl they're great you should go check them out mm-hmm. um their their link is in uh hashtag college league under affiliates speaking of which i'm going to raid their channel after this so we're, that is true. Who's winning? Oh, App State's murdering them. Are you lying? No. That's tough. Like, what's the score? 23 to 6. You lying. No. Damn, um, that's and tough. It's about to be 24 to 6. Um, that's tough. So, um... Up next, season six CSFA awards never gonna happen. It's too far gone, and I don't care enough anymore. Um, you might be the person who's asking this might be the only person left who cares. Um, and I'm I'm frankly just gonna be honest. It's season seven, the end of season seven. That league doesn't exist anymore, and it's not happening. It's buried. Uh, yeah. Uh, last question. Also, why did my dad leave? I don't know. F stacks. He's got more experience with that kind of stuff. Yeah, I felt that. Um, <laughs> if he works for that, you, mm, I calm myself down. He's going to come home eventually. <laughs> He's still looking for that milk. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's only so many stores he can go to. <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> Uh, from Turts, any new leagues coming in the future? Maybe. I don't know. We'll think about it. <laughs> uh, from First Frey, uh, uh, Turts versus Beast Argument Simulation League win. It's called the USFA uh, in USFA chat. Uh, it happens whenever one of them gets angry enough to talk about the, what was it, Season 4 championship? Yeah. Going back to that question about um, any other leagues, we kind of need some help on this one before we can build another. <laughs> yeah. So let's start there. Let's start with what we got. Build yeah. that up, and then we can talk a little bit later about yeah. getting on a section. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's just, yeah, there, there's a lot going on here that needs to get done, so... The quicker we can take care of our own end, the better it would be for us that we can focus on other things. Mm-hmm. Uh, Turt said it was the season five semifinal. I thought it was season four. 
lost. Oh, whatever. Yes. It's, it's a playoff game that they lost, like, pretty much all the rest of them. Yeah, you like um, that? <laughs> um, you remember that time Huntington Beach, like, destroyed them in the United Bowl? That, that, was, that was fun times. I do. That was uh, season six. Yeah, that went too far away. No, it was not. <laughs> um, What's next? Uh, fantasy football for the USFA. I think that's been something that's been requested a handful of times. We just need some help getting it set up or infrastructure set up for it. So that way it's, we're not, you know. I could probably make the infrastructure, but I'm not running it. I have to say it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> I'm not running that either. Just not happening. Um... Yeah, if someone wants to step up, run it. We can we can build it out on the sheets and whatnot. It wouldn't be that difficult, but in terms of actually keeping up with it, I'm not able to do that. Stacks isn't able to do that, so someone will need to step up and get that done. Uh, and then last but not least, it's kind of like a two pronged section. Why is JCB the best player in the USFA, and how is Doc Boone so overrated? The answer to both of those questions is both of you are special, and you all are both great players, and um, both of you does, uh, are going to be great running backs in the future. And both of them have great fan clubs. President is me. No, they have terrible fan clubs because it's run by Stacks. Shut up. You wish you had a fan club. But everyone loves me. Hey, you do. Everyone um, needs a fan club. Let's see. Why is Namie the best rookie running back? He's not. He's up there. But I don't think he's number one. <laughs> um... But I run my own fan club. <laughs> How sad. That's that's. Uh, I think that's pretty much all we got here. Uh, unless you got anything else to touch on, talk about. Um, you know, these playoffs are going to be coming up pretty soon. So, looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, just keep Should helping. Be a good time. Just keep helping <laughs> as much as you can. Yeah, like. Uh, all those uh, little jobs matter. Uh, Definitely. <laughs> like stats, commentary, modding team, updaters, they all matter, bro. Like, every yeah. bit of help that we can get, the better. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And we definitely want to keep on growing. Can't wait for the new players to come in from the ECFL, not just this season, but the next one, too, and the ones after that. Um, yep hurts he's my son i'm so disappointed i'm so disappointed uh, what's up mikey how you doing <laughs> but, all right i think i think that's pretty much everything i got um <laughs> i don't see any new questions coming in so maybe give it a minute or two and See, uh, see if anything comes in, and if not, then we can wrap this up and go raid the uh, ECFL championship game. Most definitely. Uh, I don't see anything else. Uh, Turk said, "Once you leave, you aren't anymore." Um, yeah, HPV does not. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I thought you said St. Louis owned HPV. I was like, "What?" Do you remember last time we played, bro? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Touchdown App State. Oh, you love to see it. I'm just going to go ahead and flip over. But thanks again for stopping by for the April League State of Address. Got a lot more coming for you. You already know. Now I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get over to the ECFL side of things. Yes, sir. Give us just a moment as we figure that out. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, that's the name of the channel. My bad. And my dog is like telling me to walk him, but it's all good. Let's see. <laughs> Let's 
Ten seconds to lose. There you go. Let's do it. Sweet. Start the raid. Thank y'all for showing up. Wait, never mind. That we aren't able to raid this huh? time. What kind of shits? What? We can't raid. Yes, that's what it says on my screen. Well, fix it. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, it's still doing it. I don't know why. I don't know. Let's see. Can I read through Streamlabs? That's the question. Probably not. Probably not. Do I really want to see this game anyway? No. (laughs) It's not fun. I think App State might know that they don't have the ball again. Yet. Well, they are undefeated, so... Are they undefeated? Are they the one that's undefeated? Uh, no. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Well, we'll just go close it out, and I'll see you guys over there, okay?